Sarah Ray Bain, a 14-year-old female teen, was reported missing by her parents on July 14, 1994, to local law enforcement in Beaver County, Pennsylvania. Several months later, on November 4, 1994, Sarah's remains were discovered in the Berlin Reservoir, located within an Ohio State Park in Portridge County, Ohio. This rural community in Ohio was located approximately two hours away from the victim's home in Pennsylvania. Additionally, Catherine Mendez, another female teen victim, went missing on August 25, 1994. Her body was found several days later on an oil road near the Berlin Reservoir. Catherine had been strangled. Both Sarah and Catherine's bodies were located approximately half a mile apart in the same Ohio State Park. 17-year-old Catherine was from Portridge County, Ohio. Information is being sought in both cases. Investigators do believe both cases could be related. It's a mystery that's haunted a local family for 27 years. In 1994, 14-year-old Sarah Bain left her Beaver County home never to be seen again. New at 6.30, KDK investigator Andy Sheehan retraces the twists and turns of Sarah's mysterious disappearance. And he uncovers new revelations that could finally solve the case. On a July night in 1994, a 14-year-old Sarah Bame left her troubled home in Rochester Township saying she was sleeping over at a friend's. She was never seen again leaving only this note for her parents to find under her pillow addressed to whoever cares. I'm just a burden. I create problems. I've already learned you don't have time for me. 27 years later, it's a source of hurt for Sarah's uncle, Kevin Bame. Poor little girl that wasn't happy at home, wasn't getting what she needed. The love and support that she needed. For years, her disappearance remained a mystery with few, if any, leads. But Beaver County Detective Andy Gall believed this was more than a runaway who never returned. All the detectives felt that we're dealing with a homicide case. Because Sarah's home life was troubled, Gall's suspicions fell on her family. Her parents were divorcing, the family concedes, because her father Jack was an alcoholic with a gambling problem. A few years after Sarah's disappearance, police arrested and convicted him for sexually assaulting another 12-year-old girl. Detectives believe they had their man, but after a few years of grilling Jack Bain, they cleared him in his daughter's disappearance. On a TV show, it would have been Jack right away. He molests another young lady. There's some connection at the very end. Um, I don't, I don't think anybody really believes that Jack had anything to do with it. I asked him on his deathbed if he had anything to, to tell me and about Sarah or anything. And he says, no, I just want to find my daughter. The family pointed to Sarah's note, which mentioned a possible rendezvous with an abusive man she had met. I met a guy who gave me love and whatever else I was not getting at home. He was a very, very abusive man. Nine years after Sarah's disappearance came the big break, though not the one detectives had hoped. Searching a database of unidentified homicide victims, Detective Kim Clements saw this sketch of a girl found dead in a secluded wooded area in Portage County, Ohio, an hour and 15 minute drive from Beaver County. Hunters found the girl four months after Sarah left home and she bore a striking resemblance. All that time, she had not been identified, but DNA tests would confirm that it was, in fact, Sarah Beam. It's bittersweet, obviously. You wanted to see this kid come home alive and well with an explanation as to why she left. The medical examiner determined someone brutally murdered Sarah, but the discovery came with another disturbing twist. Just months before, police had discovered the body of another young woman in the same woods about a half mile away. 
who was 17-year-old Catherine Menendez, found strangled and sexually assaulted, giving the BAME case a whole new dimension. Does this not tell you that this is a serial murder, a serial child predator? We can never assume, but that certainly put us in that direction. Since that time, detectives have focused on finding one person responsible for both killings, someone who possibly had ties to both areas. In our interview, Detective Gall let us in on a possible breakthrough, a strong person of interest. We have a particular person who's due to take a polygraph here very soon that spent time here in Beaver County and a time in Portage County at the, during that period of time. Detectives say he's already serving time in prison. Does he have a conviction involving indecent sexual relations? I'd rather not say that just yet, but you'll be the first person I'll tell afterwards. Gall, who is nearing retirement, says he won't until that's done. She's with me all the time, and we're gonna get, we're gonna get him. Well, it's been a long road for family members who want to clear their brother Jack's name and more importantly, find Sarah's killer. We will keep you updated on any developments in this case, which investigators say they are committed to solving. Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.